sorry. Ryan is literally blowing my mind here. <laughs> I'm sure. Oh, she got a new phone. I got a new phone. I'm like, how do I use it? All yeah. right. Okay. okay, so, I'll, so oh. I know I have an old phone, right? Yes. That I need to clean up. We gotta get rid of it. We gotta get rid of it. Okay, yeah. so what do we do first? Well, we're gonna make some money. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean off all of our stuff. So, okay. what you wanna do is go back it up. If you've got an iCloud account, back it up to iCloud. Okay. Or in some cases where <laughs> iCloud isn't working right. right? Steve Large. You can, yes. you, can also, you can also back it up to your computer. So okay. it's really easy. Go to iCloud backup, back up. click iCloud backup, and uh -huh. then backup now. Mm -hmm. Or connect it to iTunes. Just click up backup now, and it'll do that. And the cool part is, like you were just asking a really interesting question, is if you've got one phone already backing yes. up to iTunes, you can back up all your phones to iTunes, and it'll just show up in the little drop down menu which phone it is. So it you don't have to worry about overwriting. Info. Okay, yeah. okay. If you've got an Android, it's going to be a little bit more complicated. So, mm -hmm. Android has a service called Android Backup Service. You just go to Settings, Backup and Reset, Backup My Data. But, not like the iPhone, you can't save everything. Everything is held mm -hmm. in a different app. So, you got to go you got to go to the uh, Google Photos okay. and make sure that you're backing up. Choose the folders to back up. And then you want to go back and make sure if you've got this, that means you're golden. If you got that, that means it didn't get backed didn't up. So, be, be careful. Okay. okay. All right, and the next part is, we, let's say you've got an old Android phone. Mm -hmm. The newer phones and iPhones, they're all encrypted when, yeah. you, when you write data to it and when you log in, it unencrypts it. But if you've got an older phone, you've got to encrypt it first. Otherwise, somebody can recover the data off okay. your phone, get all your pictures and all your stuff. So just go into the settings and encrypt the phone if it's an older Android kind device. Kind of basically restoring to factory settings yeah. kind of thing? Okay. And then you just, exactly, you just click reset to default and it'll erase everything on the phone and put it back to default. And then on iPhone, you just go to erase okay. iPhone and okay. it erases everything on your phone. Once all that's done, here's the thing. Make sure you don't go back in and connect it back to the internet and then just start deleting things manually. Like, let's say you uh, go into your contacts and go, oh, I don't want all these people in here. Yeah. It'll sync back up with your account and you'll lose everything. Okay. So don't do that. Make sure you, once you've done all this stuff, don't sync it back up. Don't log back into the phone. Just leave it as it is. Gotcha. Plug it into power when you do your reset. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if it gets halfway through the reset and it dies, uh, you're going to lose your phone. So you okay. want to make sure you get it plugged in. Also, here's kind of a weird tip. Now, this is what some of the places online are saying is take an HD video and let it run the phones through all of its storage. Oh. So that way you overwrite anything that's on the phone just in case you leave something on there. Okay. If it's overwritten, nobody can see it. So right. you, you basically put an HD video on there and then delete it. Now, now we're going to sell it. <laughs> are you okay. ready to sell? Ready, ready. Two major places to sell, obviously eBay and Craigslist. Okay. The interesting thing is you're going to get different prices on different sites. Okay. With eBay, keep in mind you're going to be shipping. With Craigslist, you're likely going to be meeting Meet the person. Mm -hmm. So you just have to decide what, what your what's risk easier. value, what mm -hmm. you want to do. But here's an iPhone. This is 500 bucks. This is just last night, 500 bucks for 128 gigs on eBay. Mm -hmm. But over wow. on Craigslist, 500 bucks, 64 gig. Oh, interesting. So du double the storage on eBay still gets you the same price. So on Craigslist, you can get a little better price. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. if you're willing to do that, go for it. Okay. Last but not least, make sure you unlock the phone. Because if it's a Verizon phone, you can only sell it to Verizon customers. Sprint phone, only to Sprint. But if you call your carrier and say, hey, can you unlock my phone? Boom. Then anyone can. You can sell it to anybody okay. and it gets your price a little better. And then last but not least, make sure you get the latest updates on the phone. So that way, you, when you sell it, you've got the latest iOS 10 or 7.0 for Android. Okay. And that way, they don't have to do a lot of work once they get it. Okay, fantastic. Great tips. Thanks so much. You're welcome. All right. We've got all their information linked up to ours. Good day, Sacramento.com. Mary and back over to you. All right. Thanks. Always good.